now we will see the universal gates nan and nor gates so the nand gate is a combination of and gate and not gate something like this so the logic symbol is so this is and gate so this is y1 so which is a into b or a and b so again this y1 is uh, applied to the not gate which is coming as a into b whole bar so the logic symbol is denoted by like this so this not gate so simply denoted by some bubble remember bubble in digital system always represents complement right or inversion inversion operation simple so a into b whole bar so the nand gate or uh, the logic expression is simply a into b whole bar now when we uh, go for the truth table so first we will uh, go for the and operation so what is the and operation so we'll get triple zero one so only when two inputs are high the output is also high for and operation now the moment the not gate is there so we have to invert this one so we'll get triple one zero that means if both inputs are high the output is will be low in nand operation right so that is we can have the definition or the statement so bo if both inputs are high the output is zero in in nand gate so this is about the nand operation next we will see the nor operation right so nor operation is nothing but no nor gate combination of r gate and not gate now the logic symbol is so first we will implement r gate then not gate so this is a plus b here then we will get complement a plus b whole bar but log logic symbol generally we use r with the bubble so at the output side so again i told uh, i already told the bubble indicates the either inversion or complement so a plus b whole bar so this is the logic expression now when it happens to the uh, truth table so first we will find the r gate so r gate means so uh, if both switches are open so output is also low so any one is high so we'll get the high output so in our gate so we can simply say if any one of the input is high the output is high now what happens to inversion operation so if zero is there so we'll get one so zero i mean one means we'll get zero zero so this is the one so if both inputs are low the output is high in nor gate right so this is about the nor operation now why this nan and nor called universal gates are any logic any boolean function any boolean function that mean it includes all gates also basic gates and gate or gate not gate even special gates any any boolean function can be implemented can be implemented or realized can be implemented by these nand and nor gates by nand by only nand and only nor gates right so we can use only nand gates we can you uh, we can implement either nor gate including nor gate also so using nand gate we can implement nor gate using nand gate you can implement any gate any logic function right similarly nor gate using nor gate so that is the reason why these uh, two gates are called universal gate is any boolean function any logic function can be implemented by only nand gates or only nor gates also right that's uh, the reason why these are called universal gates now in the next lecture or coming lectures we will see uh, how to implement or how to realize using only nand gates or only nor gates etc and uh, now we'll discuss the special gates so what are these special gates are two gates that is exclusive or gate and exclusive nor gate so this exclusive this generally this exclusive or and exclusive nor generally also called arithmetic gates and uh, specially this exclusive or uh, arithmetic means it will it will uh, perform the addition operation actually that also we'll see and uh, when we draw the logic symbol so this is the logic symbol right and uh, the logic expression is a exclusive or b right the plus on the circle will be there this is x a x is or b the what is the equivalent is will come from the truth table now what it indicates that this are uh, exclusive are also called anti coincidence gate or inequality detector that means if both inputs are equal it gives output zero if both inputs are unequal or so suppose these two see zero and one if these two are not equal right so the output will be high this uh, 
exclusive are also uh, gate is also called staircase gate staircase gate that means whenever there is a staircase the output will be high see from 0 to 1 this is a change right here also 1 to 0 this is upper staircase this is lower staircase right so we are getting the output as high so you see when two unequal inputs are there the output is true that is output is high so that is the reason why it is called anti coincidence gate or inequality detector suppose in the digital system suppose we need to detect some wherever the inputs are not equal then the output should be high so some indication should be there so there we use this type of gates XOR, exclusive or gate especially now why it is called arithmetic gate see if you see 0 plus 0 what is the value 0 that is addition we know the binary addition and 0 plus 1 1 only 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 sum is 0 carry is 1 now it is giving only sum that is the reason is so it is giving an addition operation and uh, for the last case we are getting only sum carry we are not getting that is the reason this exclusive or gate will be used in adder circuits that we will see anyway discussed in the later right so that's why it is also called arithmetic gate because it will performing the addition operation now how to what is the logic expression so this is like a, a exclusive or b but we can split this one as like this now so we are getting this two uh, rows we are getting high value as high the function value is y for these two combinations so how to write these two combinations see this is 0 this is 1 2 3 so 0 1 I can write a bar b plus a b bar see here a bar what is a 0 so 0 bar means 1 b is 1 so 1 into 1 1 so 1 plus anything 1 similarly this condition a into b bar so a into b bar 1 into 0 bar so we will get for these two conditions we will get output as high so that is the expression we can remember a bar b plus a b bar or a b bar plus a bar b etc right this is about the this exclusive or gate so uh, next one is exclusive nor gate right or simply we can uh, represent x nor in the previous case it is x r now this is also called x nor gate or simply uh, arithmetic gate or simply comparator also comparator right arithmetic gate also so logic symbol is exclusive war with bubble right so exclusive war combination with a not gate now the logic expression generally we can represent a dot so this is circle a exclusive nor b now when you see the truth table so we will get whenever two inputs are equal we will get the high output so opposite of the exclusive war so when two inputs are not equal so we will get the uh, the low output so that is the reason why it is called the coincidence gate or equality detector gate so whenever both inputs are equal we will get logic high at the output now uh, this is the logic expression so this can also be split into like this reason is so when for these two rows we are getting value the function value is high now to write those function values so we can represent this as a single uh, value that is now to represent this logic expression in a different way so if you see these two rows we are getting high value now how to represent these two rows so we sh we should get the logic values high so for two combinations so this combination is a bar into b bar because this is 0 this is 0 so 0 represented by a bar into b bar because when I multiply this one we will get function values high Similarly, if I multiply these two, I should get function values high. So, a into b. So, this exclusion or function can also be written by like this a b plus a bar into b bar. There, uh, in exclusive or this will, this will be a into b bar plus a bar into b. Right. So, this is about this one. So, the other names also we have to remember. See, whenever these two are equal, so we are getting function values high. So, that is the reason this can be also called as comparator. Right. So, both are equal. So, the logic function is high and also called equality detector or coincidence gate right now we will see some uh, properties of this exclusive or gate and exclusive or gate so what are these properties so using this exclusive or gate we can implement the different gates that is how so only either a buffer or not gate now one input is x other input is 0 now what is the output we know that y is equal to 
one in one input into other input com uh, complement so zero bar plus zero into x bar because we know that this is like a into b bar plus a bar b this is the logic expression so what is a here this is a this is b so a into b bar so zero bar plus zero into x bar so what is zero bar one so x into one x so zero into anything zero so what is y y is equal to x so that is if one of the input of this exclusive or gate is zero so simply it will behave like a buffer that means whatever we give here that will goes to the output so x i am giving so it is going to the output if x is equal to zero output is also zero if x is equal to one output is also one so this is acting like a buffer remember so just passing whatever the input is there so it is passing to the output now what happens one one input is x and one input is one so again x into one bar plus what is this x bar into one yes or no see a into b bar plus a bar into b so x into one bar what is one bar one bar is zero so zero plus x bar into one so x bar what is this it is a not gate right so not operation or inverter operation that is if one put one input is one other input is a or something so what is output we are getting the complement of this input so x bar we are getting so exclusive or gate can be uh, treated as not gate or not inverter if one input is one yes or no so we are getting x bar now the last one if both inputs are same what is the output simple both inputs are uh, same means output should be zero right or we can say simply x into x bar plus x bar into x so x into x bar is nothing but zero so zero plus zero is zero so these three operations we need to remember so exclusive or can be uh, realized or can be used as a inverter when one of the input is connected to one it can be used as a buffer when one of the input is zero now, similarly what is the properties of x nor gate so same a into or no I mean uh, one input is a another input is zero so we know that a into b plus a bar into b bar the logic expression this is a and this is b so what is a a only b is zero a bar is a bar into b bar so that is zero bar so anyway this is zero a bar into zero bar which is nothing but a bar same the exclusion or gate can be treated as not gate or inverter when one of the input is zero similarly what happens to here so a into b a into one plus a bar into one bar okay so what is one bar zero so this is a a plus zero so this is like a buffer right so one of the input is one another input is whatever the x a variable we can give so we can simply uh, output is follows the a only that is it's a looking like a buffer what happens both are equal so a into a plus a bar into a bar so what is this a into a a a bar into a bar a only what is a plus a bar we know that it is x a one right so if both inputs are same what is the output always one so these are the some uh, properties of the exclusive or gate and exclusive or gate in the next lecture we will see how to implement any logic function using universal gates only right so very very important topic